assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to 10 film technology course uh, lecture number 25 uh, in this lecture uh, we will discuss about the collimated and ion beam spiral depositions uh, as a part of 10 film depositions uh, techniques so i am dr parvez ahmed uh, let's proceed uh, towards uh, today's lectures so uh, what is uh, collimated sputtering uh, so uh, uh, let me explain that the setup you can see it here in the figure uh, is basically the experimental setup that has been utilized for the collimated uh, sputtering. So just like the ordinary uh, sputterings, uh, we have a target source, uh, which is just like you can see it here. Uh, and uh, along with that, we have a substrate. Uh, upon the substrate, we place the vapors. Uh, on these vapors, uh, we uh, we just trying to deposit the thin film, but here you can see it. We have these block-like structures. Uh, inside these block-like structures, uh, we move the the, the sputters atom from the target toward the wafer to deposit it here on the uh, the the wafers. I mean, so, uh, here you can see that uh, uh, we have we have the sputter atoms, and these sputter atoms uh, they basically move through these uh, holes uh, between these block-like structures. And they move for the, for their depletions uh, towards uh, the vapors, uh, where they're deposited in the form of the thin film. So what's actually happening and the collimated sputtering? Let's start the formal discussions. Uh, the goal of the collimated sputtering is to fill the high aspect ratio holes by more directional sputterings uh, with the narrow arrivals uh, angle distributions, just like you can see it here. Uh, this is the narrow arrivals, uh, narrow arrivals uh, angle distributions. So th this is the, the main goals uh, of this particular kind of the sputtering. Uh, the, the long, uh, the long through sputterings uh, that we discussed uh, in the previous lecture is one kind of the collimated sputterings, uh, but also with the law efficiency. I mean, why the law efficiency? Uh, for example, you can see it here. Uh, some of the particles uh, that might be blocked by these uh, columns uh, or by these block like structures and uh, similarly by moving through uh, the system uh, some of the the sputter atoms uh, is possible that they may be uh, I mean deposited to the walls uh, of these block like structures uh, so that's why we're saying that and these kind of sputterings uh, the efficiency uh, might be uh, low so uh, what actually we do in these techniques, uh, we insert a plate with high aspect ratio holes. Uh, sputters, uh, in this technique, uh, we have sputterings uh, at low pressures. Uh, mean field path is long enough uh, that few collisions occur between the uh, collimate, uh, collim uh, collimators and the wafers. I mean, uh, here you can see it. I mean, the main uh, free path. The main free path is long, so when the main uh, when the main free path is long, so it means that uh, there might be few collisions uh, between the the collimator. Uh, so that's why uh, few coll collision between the collimator and the wrapper. So as a result, uh, we will have uh, uh, I mean so that that will ultimately result in a lower uh, depositions rate. So that's why we are saying that. Uh, this kind of uh, sputter basically, uh, I mean, the, we have it at low pressures. Uh, the main free path is long, uh, so uh, uh, there might be a few collisions between the collimators and the uh, vapors. Uh, so, species with the velocities uh, nearly perpendicular to the vapor surface are fast through the holes, and that you can observe here. I mean, it's, uh, uh, that's why we're saying that species with a velocity. Uh, the velocity near perpendicular to the wiper. I mean, here you can see that it's the velocity is near perpendicular uh, to the wipers, uh, only they are reaching or passing uh, through the holes. At last support, there is some, uh, I mean, so that the, the, uh, it's not, uh, I mean, it's at the angle is uh, not 90 degrees, not perpendicular. Uh, so the possibility is that they will strike. Uh, these collimators uh, and they might not reach uh, to the wafer for other depositions. So reduced deposition rates uh, considerably. I mean, this kind of the technique uh, basically reduce the deposition rate uh, considerably. And why? Uh, why is that? Uh, we, we already mentioned the reasons. Uh, the demand free path is long, so there will uh, there might be few collisions uh, between the collimators 
uh, and the wiper so that will ultimately results uh, and the reduced load deposition rate uh, because most butter atoms cannot reach the substrate uh, so this is why we are saying that in such a technique uh, the deposition rate will be uh, very very low uh, then we have the ionized uh, sputter depositions uh, the structures uh, the experimental setup uh, for the ionized sputter depositions, you can see it here in this uh, diagram or this figure. Uh, so here, uh, I mean, the structures uh, are the experimental setup uh, for almost all the technique to look like the same. So there might be some, uh, there, there are some modifications, but those modifications are not, uh, I mean, in such a way that uh, you won't be able to recognize one from the others. I mean, the structures of the experimental setup uh, for the sputtering techniques almost look like uh, the same. So, uh, this is the, 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 the experimental setup, I mean, the sketch of the experimental setup for the INAS uh, sputter deposition. So, what actually we have, uh, the deposition atom themselves are ionized. I mean, uh, just like the name implies, uh, uh, the, the, the name is ionized sputter deposition. So, it means that uh, the depositing atom themselves they are ionized i mean so whatever the atoms were trying to deposit so they are themselves ionized so an rf coil around the plasma induces collision in the plasma creating the ions i mean here you can see it uh, this is uh, an rf uh, coil around the plasma i mean uh, here you can see it this is uh, the couple rf uh, antenna inductively couple RF uh, antenna so the function of this uh, uh, coil or this antenna is uh, it induce uh, plasma collisions and in, uh, in the plasma are uh, they creating the ions uh, so we have the ionized uh, plasma uh, we have the ionized materials uh, that is uh, 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 that range from 50 to 85 percent so uh, most butter atom can reach the substrate that it's a better solution than a uh, collimators. So in this kind of the technique, so you can see that there is no uh, collimator. Uh, so uh, most of the atoms, uh, they don't feel any hurdles while reaching uh, to, the, to the substrate. I mean, you can see it here. I mean, this is the target. Uh, it's the targets, uh, I mean, when, uh, when we made the, the, uh, the ionized, uh, 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 the ionized atoms or the ions are to fall and it's uh, 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 the targets and it's eject the atom so then these ejected atoms they, they are with the DC bias it has been accelerated toward uh, the substrate so here you can see that the substrate uh, there we see no any uh, not any particular hurdles uh, in the way and, uh, and again the man fee path is uh, small so it was this why we we're saying that uh, this kind of the technique is much better than the collimator one because in this way we can have uh, increased deposition rate so this again uh, provide a narrow distributions of the arrivals angles uh, which may be useful when filling or pouring uh, the bottom uh, at the bottom of the deep contrast uh, holes so uh, here uh, you can see here uh, we have the figures uh, this figure uh, a and figure b so here you can see in uh, figure a what's actually going on we have a regular sputtering deposition. I mean, this is the regular sputtering uh, deposition. So here you can see that uh, we have the depositions for some time. Uh, you can see that the angles, uh, this angle might, the angles of the sputtering atom might affect the deposition rate, particularly on the substrate. So on the other side, uh, we have collimated sputter depositions. Uh, this is uh, shown here and the B. Uh, this is the collimator sputter depositions by using uh, long through configurations so a uh, collimators are ionized uh, sputter deposition so here you can see that we have more directional uh, uh, deposition so unlike that i mean here we have how uh, to deposit the thin film rides uh, in a particular locations though we are saying that the deposition rate might be slow as compared to the regular sputter depositions but it's highly directional and it's highly been utilized uh, to put the 10 films on right uh, right at the target uh, then we have uh, ion beam uh, sputter depositions that in short we can write IBSD uh, the typical uh, ion beam uh, sputter deposition system 
with the iron beam uh, with the iron beam assisted depositions uh, capability for cluster tool configuration i mean this is the sketch or the figure for uh, the typical iron beam sputter depositions so here you can see that we have different part of the structures here we say uh, i mean here you can see uh, we have a sputter depositions iron sore this is sputter depositions iron sore uh, this uh, here uh, you can see this is the target uh, the target shutters and here this uh, hexagon like structures uh, you can see it here it's a multiple target uh, carousel and uh, from this on the one side you can see here uh, these are the spur atom uh, these are the spur atoms so uh, here you can see that we have placed uh, I mean uh, this is the substrate and uh, this substrate uh, I mean we placed it here just like you can see it here we have a, sus a substrate holder uh, this, this has been placed here so what actually we can do, uh, uh, we, we make the iron to bar on the multiple targets. So they spur the atom and these spur atom they are being accelerated towards the, uh, the substrate with where they are deposited in the form of the thin film. So uh, it's a high end thin film deposition process. I mean uh, uh, that, that, that we are talking about uh, the iron beam sputter deposition. So iron beam sputter deposition is basically high end thin film deposition process. Uh, I mean, it's basically uh, lower pressure sputter depositions with a pressure uh, that's almost equal to 10 raised to power minus 4 tar uh, sputter atom. And these techniques, the sputter atoms, uh, I mean, they retain kinetic energy due to many uh, minimal scattering at low pressures uh, environment. Let me repeat it again. Uh, this is a, lot, uh, a lower uh, sputter deposition technique. Uh, the sputter atom in this technique, uh, they retain their kinetic energy due to minimal scattering and low pressure uh, environments. So where these techniques, uh, we can get high quality thin film. And the, fin, uh, the, uh, the, the film morphology is smooth, uh, fin hole. It's a, it's a sort of fin hole free film. Uh, we can have by utilizing this technique, we can have and clear, uh, we can have enhanced uh, additions and microstructures uh, controls. Uh, similarly, uh, by the utilization of these techniques, we can get uh, excellent real coverage. It is small thickness and a high aspect ratio of uh, features. And be remember, uh, this is uh, independent. Uh, this technique has independent control of iron beam parameters. Uh, which allows user uh, to engineer film for design properties. I mean, let me repeat it again. Uh, this sentence, uh, or uh, this logic, that is, the iron beam spurter deposition uh, technique is independent. It has independent controls of the iron beam uh, parameters, uh, which allow user to engineer films uh, for desired properties. Uh, and this technique is some sort of low energy. Uh, uh, this technique has uh, a low energy ion source. Uh, that is, uh, you can see it here on the left. Uh, this is the low energy uh, ion source uh, assessed with uh, end all ion source. Uh, that is uh, on the right. Is on the right. Uh, that's been assisted. I mean, uh, this ion source has been assisted with the uh, this ion source. Uh, so this is the uh, the low energy ion source and it is being assisted with the n hoil ion source on the right uh, which is uh, this one similarly uh, uh, typically film properties from the ion beam uh, depositions exceed those uh, deposited by evaporations or magnetron uh, sparkling so in other words we can say that the film properties that we deposited were Iron beam sputtering deposition technique is better than the one deposited by uh, evaporations or uh, magnetron uh, sputtering. Uh, so uh, that's all we have for this lecture. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next lecture very soon. Uh, till then, bye bye.